Hey, and welcome to Monday's bonus stream, where we're going to be painting some dolls. <laughs> Yay! Oh, boy. Yeah. My baby boy is going to grow up. Uh, so He's this, so big. Hopefully this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> we, If you're not familiar with us, we are currently playing through Gloomhaven, or at least the first four people to play through Gloomhaven. After we fall, somebody will take over for us. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, is that how that works? I don't know. I don't know. We didn't set any rules. If you die in the game, you die in real life. <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, but yeah, we're uh, just gonna try throwing some paint onto these uh, onto these little little dudes. Um, so I'm Cameron. I'm Corey. I'm Heather. Hi, I'm Adam. <laughs> and uh, what's everyone playing right now? I like. I have an Inox Brew. Like in general, or like... His name is Carl Bogo. Yeah. Mm. Carl Bogo. <laughs> Heather? I the name that just keeps on giving. Quir quir quirling? Quir quirling? I, t I can't remember what my thing was, actually. But Rooftop Karen. Yeah. Mm. And I'm playing a Vermling. Is it a Vermling? Yeah. yeah. I'm playing a Vermling uh, Mind Taker? Mind Bender? Mind Breaker? Mind Thief? Mind Thief, yeah. <laughs> His name is Otaku Jeff. And I am playing a... My paint box is upside down. <laughs> That's a fun game. Good thing I didn't open it. Yeah. That would have been awkward. Mm. 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 Good fully. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing Benny, who is an orchard spell weaver. Right. Yes, yes, I remember. Oh. Uh, chat tells me oh. mine's a quatrill. Oh. F, F's in chat for my paint box. Uh, and as you may be able to see, I've already started mine. Uh, let's see, let's actually, here, let me... Good. This is going to be the worst paint job ever. I'm Nonsense. not, I am ex not excited about this. I'm very nervous. Nonsense. It's going to be There's great, Adam. so many tiny things. Yeah, dude, it's, it's, it's so great. small. Our, our peep, ours are too tiny. Ours are very tiny. I'm focusing this wide shot on like right by like the uh, uh yeah like r r right by where that like where your hand is right now left hand your, your, your right left one? hand is right now. okay so yeah this is a children's game adam you're gonna be fine <laughs> like <laughs> like uh mine mine's like half the size of yours and and Corey had the right bogart hand, yeah. Oh yeah. Mind taker. <laughs> We're so tiny. Like <laughs> mind taker. That's, that's true. That just means that you'll be able to paint yours really fast. Yeah. yeah. That's also, what we just did. Yeah. You've got fur. Right. That's right? Let's... Or your character's a, a lizard person, right? I, I thought and, you were um, like more of a rat, rat person. You're a rat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fur Street is actually rat. real Riff, easy. Raff. I don't like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. Uh, and James has very gracious. Goodbye. Uh, James has very generously gone out and bought everyone number one imitation sable brushes. So Does those that... are like your your standard issue um, all t all comers brush. The oh, number one yeah. size sable brush is is your friend. Uh, and it can kind of do everything from areas, like large area painting on figures this size, to small details. Okay. But what's a sable? Like, is, is... A sable is a small, it's like a mink. Oh, yeah. I see. So the idea, it's, it's, it's replicating a brush that's made from... Hair. Hair. Mink fur? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of paintbrushes are, are hair-based originally. And then I also have all of my brushes to contribute to this. So as long as you treat them well, you may <laughs> use them. Where is my uh, where is my number one? Is it the, that one that got buried underneath? By process of elimination, it must be. <laughs> All right. So we have taken the first step of washing everyone's mini with a uh, little detergent and warm water to get off um, like any finger oils from playing with them, or uh, when they are cast or molded. They have to spray the mold with a releasing thing. Releasing agent? Yeah, with a releasing agent. And that's kind of oily and will keep paint from sticking. So we wash that off. Then we primed with uh, Citadel Chaos Black Primer. 
um, which will give the paint something to bite into. Uh, because paint does not actually, like, water-based paint doesn't do anything on plastic, right? It'll dry on it and hopefully then stick to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what primer does is it binds into the plastic a little bit, and then it has a porous surface that the paint can absorb onto. Ah. Like All the right. Teflon only sticks to Teflon? Yeah. And metal. Uh, and, and I started painting mine last week, and I was able to prime mine with white because my white primer had not yet died. Oh. Rip. My, my white primer died uh, shortly, well, actually during the process of uh, filming that Commodore Hustle. Oh. Was its, was its can, final, final. Can you prime it any color? Uh, generally, yeah. Um, the two big ones, at least for miniature painting, are black and white. Black gives you deeper shadows and does a lot of work for you. Mm. White is, white makes popular colors, right? Like the colors like jump out more or more easily. Ultimately, at the end of the day, if you paint it properly, it won't matter. Okay. Right? Because you're going to cover the entire thing anyway. Uh, what if you don't paint it properly? <laughs> well, then it'll matter, won't it? Well, that's not something We're that's going to happen on this stream. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone is going to have fun. The mini police are going to show up and be like, <gasps> but We would like to arrest you. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be so cute. They're going to be. They'll, they're they'll gonna actually be, run up like, to me, pull out their ruler. Be like, this <laughs> tall. Like this tall. Uh, roll some dice. Uh, <laughs> small dice. Small yeah. dice. Tiny dice. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what I wanted to do today was just like take everyone through a standard like three color paint job. Okay. So first thing you want to do when you're thinking about how you want to paint is planning. <laughs> it's not exciting, but okay. you know, look at your mini and figure out like you know, in your mind's eye what you want it to look like when you're done. And that way you can save a lot of time and grief and introduce yourselves to other form of Grief and time wasting. Okay. I want him to be all black. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. We can do that. We can do that. No. Want backpack to be one color. I think Carl Bogo killed a polar bear. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So in order to do that, we want to start off with Space Wolves Gray <gasps> for the cloak. I think he's got he's got a little fur bits. He's got like a well, little. Taku Jeff lives in the sewers. And that's where he gets everyone. That's where he, he collects all the cast off waifus that everyone throws in the garbage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a lot of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This so. is waifu rich. This paint is more or less in this okay. economy. <laughs> um, so, either we can base coat with Space Wolf Gray, which is like a bluey gray. Yep. Or we could do like an ivory color, for the. <gasps> the agenda's down there? Oh, man. Mm. Got the biggest crush mm. on the agenda. So, I've been watching a Kame Ga Kill at home in my own spare time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I have a wife. I think the Ivory. <gasps> ivory? And my All wife, right. whose name is Nagenda. Uh, She's the mm. boss lady with the eye patch. She wears like a suit. She's got a big metal arm. Well, biggest crush. It's a good wife. Yeah. Is. That's elf flesh. The big metal arm. Is, I mean, that, that's how the crushing It's more the suit. I think it's there the is. suit. Yeah, her. Yeah, that's a good suit. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's no. the short hair, too. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. I started re-watching uh, the remake of Space Battleship Tomato. Or Yamato. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tomato. <laughs> Tomato. Tomato's good. Uh, and yeah, that one is also full of waifus. I, I was actually saying just before we went online that uh, it, I, I love that uh, Adam's time on Road Quest Bone has white. actually legitimately made him watch. He's actually just like watches anime for fun now. Yeah. That's not, that wasn't like a bit for Road Quest. Did no. you watch anime before not for fun? Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I watched it to be miserable. I was oh, like, okay. man, I really feel like wasting eight hours. <laughs> Time to watch uh, some One Piece. What How do I release this from its containment vessel 
in a way that <laughs> uh, is useful for me. Mm. And then what do I do with this? All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to put three drops of that on your palette. One, two. Yeah, there you go. That yeah. should be good, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't actually need very much paint. And what you're going to do is you're going to dip your brush into the water, boop, and then take a tiny little corner of your paint and mix it up until you get a consistency that is kind of like milk. I can't even like tell where and then his add more water is and, like, and where his body is. You I know? think mine's wearing... So what it is better to What color is Otaku Jeff's fur? That's the real I can't remember. I can't remember what my character art looked like. I mean, darker color would be easier, but I kind of mm. want to make him like an albino. Ooh, that would be fun. We mm. can definitely do an albino. I mean, he's supposed to be like an outcast from the Vermlings, right? Yeah. Like he's a Vermling that other Verm all the other Vermlings are like. Eh. What if he's hairless? Oh. <laughs> he's he's totally like one of those... Then you need to sand him down. <laughs> he's like one of those weird cats, you know, the hairless cats. Sphinx cats. Yeah. It's a, a friend Sphinx. of mine has one. Yeah. Uh, her name is Mochi. Yeah, Mochi. Okay. That's a yeah. good word. That's Occasionally, a good I text her and I'm like, Mochi pics, please, and she sends me a bunch of pics Aww. of Mochi. Hey. Yeah. All right. So okay, like... now that you've got a thin layer, uh, thin paint. Yes, okay. Uh, you can start applying it. All and right. it will not coat completely on Perfect. your first one. All right. But it is better to use several thin coats of paint than one thick coat of paint. It's going in. Okay. If you would like, you may also use a slightly larger brush because Carl Bogo has, like, those big so fur much areas. Area. Well, I want to make his fur, like, a crappy brown color. Crappy brown color. Yeah. We can definitely do that. Like just full poop. Not his fur, oh. his like, his clothes, I guess. Like his the, clothes? Yeah. From like being his... in the sewer. Okay. Uh, yeah. So like, that, kind of like a clothing. That's cool. leather yeah. or I mean, a khaki yeah. or. Yeah, like a khaki. Uh, maybe a little darker than a khaki, I guess. Okay. Okay. Dark uh, khaki. <laughs> Dark web. <laughs> Let's see. Well, you know we do have. What about... Taco Jeff with that bright hair like an anime protagonist? That's true. Oh, that's true. That's Give him, true, like, actually. orange. Uh, Make him an orange child. Like, down his back. We have several colors Ooh, that might work. Yeah. Let me know if you see something you like. Like a full body. I like mohawk. this one. Vermin fur? I mean, it's... Oh, yeah. It's literally called go. vermin fur. It's literally I want vermin. the jacket to be, like... So, again, green. what you want to do is pop that open, dip your brush into it, Yeah, okay. and then they'll be uh, on the lid. Actually, uh, so hold on. I just use... Yeah, uh, dip your brush in the water first, yeah. and then uh, pick up some paint on it from the lid, yeah. and mix it up on your palette and see how it feels. Oh, like yeah, scoop it. Yeah, there you go. And I usually add, like, when I'm painting, I usually do, like, I think about one and a half or two parts water hmm. to one part paint is what is I work that with. Too much or? No, that's good. That's good. And, and then, like, then it just a little bit more, I would. Like, then it was water? Yeah. Like the paint down here, too? Yep. And that'll also keep it from drying out. And when you're using these brushes, you want to, like, um, roll them a bit when you're pulling them out of the paint. Right. Okay. I'm trying Just to think. To make it like a point. Or... Yeah, it'll bring out a point. Yeah. So, right. so you're doing a rolling motion to kind of make it point up in the in the top. Yep. Cool. I'm trying to think of all the things that I I learned to do that are just kind of muscle memory now, mm. and it's, it's tricky. Yeah. Um, have like a maybe like a green. A green. For okay. The jacket. Bright green, dark green. Uh, maybe a darker green. I want to go for some like natural tones, like greens and browns. We have Vallejo camouflage green. We've got U.S. olive drab. Is it true? Somebody in the chat was mentioning that uh, the Tinker doesn't have a nose. Um. Is that true? Well, it's got buggy-looking eyes, and then. It kind of looks like it's like if if you were expecting this to be a human, like it's wearing some kind of a mask. Hmm. But um, I don't think 
I don't think there is a definitive nose that you can see. We also have this darker green, um, or kind of more of a rich green, I suppose. I have a hard time telling like where stuff ends and begins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have to make those edges ourselves. Yeah, the great like part the, is you get to decide, I guess. Yeah, these, um, I'm, I guess Just I'm one. really used to Games Workshop miniatures, which have really well-defined, like, uh, objects on them, right? You can really mm. tell where the clothes are because they're meant to, like, be seen from a meter away. So all the details are really, like, uh, uh, sharply defined. Mm. And these are a little blurrier. Yeah. There's a lot of detail in them, though. They're the... Uh, ah, mean, yeah, there we go. Hmm. I forgot the glowing bits, because I was just like, everything is black now. <laughs> the Games Workshop style also, um, you know, they, they guys tend to have, like, a bunch of accessories that are sort of optional. So those hmm. are, you know, by their nature kind of separate from the rest so they kind of stick out more and i think the spell weaver um is where her clothes are black in the artwork mm -hmm. like her cloak and stuff These are brand new black and white. I have other black and white though that I need to finish using. <laughs> well, make a note, Paul. Right. Intro played. That, wasn't actually that was just the music? Yeah. Oh, that well, was fine. So it won't actually make sense. And we, we, we changed the way the, the thing works so that shouldn't affect it anymore, right? And those aren't usually cut off. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of We've been trying to make adjustments. <laughs> I'm just looking for my jar of white paint. Like just straight up white? Yeah. And that would make sense because it's over here now. Paintbrush can go a lot thinner than I was expecting it to be able to. Oh yeah, these That's ones cool. can like get pulled really, really into fine points. They're very nice brushes. Although, like, I've never used, I haven't used the brand that uh, James picked up for us, but like this, the imitation sable have been getting very good, which is you know lucky because you know they're small animals and they don't necessarily. Uh, need to be turned into paintbrushes. And also apparently uh, they're the export around them because the, I don't know, the breeder, the type of sable is called Kalinsky sable. And they're from Russia. And they've been getting very difficult to find. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I get very difficult to find when people hunt me down too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, like the, the breed, there's, there was some kind of import dr drama with them. It's like we got to figure out how to make more than one brush per sable. Yeah. So is are are the things that your character has done so far in the game influencing how you want to paint him? No. <laughs> There's no thought going into this ball. <laughs> I'm just picking colors, and I'm like, yeah, that seems right. Well, like, what color summon do you want to use in the creature, right? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I mean, when I summon a creature, I usually go with, like, a purple or something, because it's like, ah, there, a color I like. Maybe I'll remember that's mine. Exactly. What about Rooftop Karen wearing favorite colors, you know, to help blend no. in with? No, Rooftop Karen is Robin Hood. 
Okay, <laughs> greens. Rolling greens? All right. Greens oh, and browns. She's Robin Hood. She's when brown. I was like in grade five or six, my mom made me a link outfit for Halloween. And people Bless. kept calling me Robin Hood. Uh, and I was like, I, hey. I was very into, um, it's not like I ever really grew out of it. Um, uh, I like fairy tales, so I also really liked folklore things like Robin Hood, mm. Ivanhoe, um, that whole medieval oh, range yeah, yeah, yeah. of the... Oh, there's a there's a legend of a thing and how cool they are. Mm -hmm. um, I read a lot of books that I didn't really understand at the time were basically just fanfic. But hey, if I'm gonna try to paint, like let's say he's got a belt, yes, right? Am I better off just painting it the color under, like you know what I mean? Like if it's like all of this brown color, am I better just painting everything brown and then later on I paint over that? Uh, or do I want to like try to go around it and then leave it blank, like leave it black? It really depends on your comfort level. I think it's probably better to l not hit it. Okay. But if you do, it's not the end of the world. Right. They're just happy accidents, right? I I remember actually wanting to wanting to dress up as uh, Robin Hood for for Halloween at one point, but and and being I was like, now like Robin Hood would be cool. But how am I gonna like get a whole like fox outfit? That it's just gonna be hard. <laughs> and then my mom had to explain to me that no, no, there actually is like a non-fox version of of Robin Hood. There's the he's actually like a, a yeah, folklore, folklore figure. Figure. Not there isn't just the Disney version. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw Men in Tights before I saw the Disney Robin Hood. So that definitely. Oh, I saw. My your Robin. Oh, uh, there were all kinds of Robin Hood cartoons. Some really old ones, and then some later iterations. Uh, Teletoon had an Ivanhoe cartoon as well. I no think kidding. That was in the same vein as the Robin Hood one, because I think there was like a crossover episode. Even there was also Rocket Robin Hood. Yeah. Which yeah. I think just used. I always heard that it just used the same plates as uh, the 1960s Spider Man, Pretty but much. swapped out the. Yep. Uh, hmm. Really. Yeah, I could see that. A lot of recycled animation in that one. Famous for it. Oh. I think I dressed up as Robin Hood once for Halloween and got made fun of for dressing up as a male character. Yeah, I was not allowed to dress as Aladdin. What? What? <laughs> no, I, your girl would have to be Jasmine or something. Ugh. It sucks. Which, no. Gross. <laughs> Who wants to wear harem pants? I mean... Doesn't, I mean... Doesn't Aladdin wear I, harem yeah. pants? I, I would now, because they seem fun and flowy, but not as a kid. Like, there, I feel like there's lots of reasons... Uh, you might want to dress up as Aladdin versus Jasmine, but I feel like harem pants are not the deciding fact. Like, <laughs> that's like the one piece of garment that they share. <laughs> oh <Aww>. yeah. <laughs> you think his midriff is bare? You can't. You think he's got his like shirt off or just? Oh well, no, I think I it's think just, I think he just has like a little crop top on. Like, <laughs> yeah. if you're looking at this the way it is, like, I don't know if that's mm. just like. I mean, he yeah. could be wearing something maybe a little darker, though, Let, in between. Do you mind if I have a look? Yeah. yeah, it looks like it. It looks like he's wearing, like, a loincloth, and then he's got, like, a poncho. Yeah, like, that's right? the poncho, right, that I'm painting. Yeah. yeah. And then, do you think it's just whatever underneath? There yeah, is? I think so. I think it looks like he's got kind of, like... Well, it's like his fur. Yeah, yeah. It's like his... Don't you put human... <laughs> We don't need to anthropomorphize wormlings here. <laughs> I do remember having really, really cheap paintbrushes as a kid to paint just like anything mm -hmm. and being very frustrated about how all the plastic bristles always like came out and oh. like get stuck Went in your paint and, oh. and it's just like I don't know I don't understand why anyone does this medium at all 
I mean, it's still a valid question. It's different reasons, though. I mean, would it help to actually pull out the uh, the box and look at the the like the little character portraits? It might actually. Paul, would you be able to like? Uh, where in the box would they be? Because I think they're on the uh, the class cards. Oh yeah, right. Which would be, like in our cubbies. Oh, okay. Yeah. But there's probably a, a website or something. Yeah, or maybe we could pull them up we, on our uh, phones. We, we decided to be responsible for our own characters. Therefore, they, they don't go back in the box. Huh. You know, like that, that egg thing that school makes you do every now and then, where they're like, take this egg home, don't let it break. Oh man! What? I, <laughs> what school do does that? that? No. Like, what? Baby, babysitting an egg? You never did the babysitting an egg? No. Did you do like a bag of sugar or a bag of flour? <laughs> <laughs> no. What about no, it's a getting robot weirder. baby? There's Why would you bring home baby. a bag of flour? There's a robot baby, and you have like a bracelet that yeah, has a little baby? magnet on it, and you have to like I don't down think their diaper and either. insert the magnet to make them stop screaming, but you can't break their neck or you lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Broke my baby's neck. All of a sudden, I'm a bad parent. <laughs> Yes, yes, no, that, is, that does make you a bad parent. Can't say I ever had that unit in school. Yeah. Well. I think Robot Babies came along after I was I was done, so. Yeah. I, I'm just imagining, like, the teacher, you know, handing out, handing out eggs no. all through the class, and then gets to the front, gets the front of the class, baby? turns what around, baby? and Adam is just, like, covered in egg yolk. It's like, <laughs> uh, there was a problem with mine. Yeah. <laughs> I ate my baby. No, oh, yeah. this is not. This is not a girl thing. This is. This was a thing we did in, in whatever class it was. Maybe like calm or cap yeah. Or, mm. uh, the one where they also teach you like, hey, do do finances and budget your 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 stuff when you go grocery shopping, that kind mm. of thing. And everyone in our school had to take that class, and everybody got an egg. Yeah, I had a version of that class, but it did not involve child rearing stuff. It was all just the the like how to make a budget. I had to write cover letters. So wait a second. Yeah, Hold up, I have a question. So okay. they give you this egg. Yeah, and they're like, yep. keep the egg safe. Why wouldn't you just put the egg in the fridge and be like... You have to write a report about hands. what you did with it. I put it in the fridge. We I, spent the, I our fav my egg's favorite place is the fridge. I kept mine in my I locker and I brought a fake report. It's yeah. so like... If it was me, I would simply lie. That's yes. why they brought in robot babies later. Because then you have... like it, it cries every now and then. You have to do things and then they can check the log on it. Which was great when people did just leave them in their lockers. <laughs> and they would they, just they cry. Or like sometimes they would break because they, they each had like a randomized seed that you would punch in on a number pad on them. But mm -hmm. like sometimes that would go wrong and then they would just cry constantly. <laughs> Which was yeah. great. Great in a school environment. <laughs> I kept my eggs safe in the fridge because I'm a responsible child. Give me I, an A+. Plus. Yeah, I, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I think there's a line here where you just like hard boil the egg and it becomes invincible. Yeah. Right? That's take also your, done. Yep. Yeah, that's... take your school to the kid of hard knocks, right? I swear, it's like you guys have never watched cartoons because I've seen so many episodes that, that do that thing where they make fun of it and there's always the one person who makes, yeah, there's there, there's like the Batman episode where he has to take care of the egg baby yep. for school because Batman Beyond did it. Because uh, he's in high school. Uh, and uh, uh, superhero girls did it. And then, like, is there an easy way to completely clean this, or do I just like? I uh, just dip it in the water and uh, shake. Yeah, just. Uh... Hey. Can you run any like mm -hmm. white? White? We something. can do that. I'm gonna make a, a white rat. Okay. Uh, oh, in order to nice. do that, because the fur is sculpted on, we can do a couple of things. Um, you can do what. Corey is doing and use like an ivory colored base coat or we could do like a light bluish gray. Light bluish gray. Light bluish gray. Sorry Heather. Nope, there you I'm go. Sorry. Oh, this cloak is shitty. <laughs> no. It looks like poop. it will look it will look terrible until you're done and then it will look awesome. Yeah. It looks like doo doo. Uh, one of the good things with vermin fur, oh and if you want to close up fur there. Oh yeah. Uh, when it's dry, you can hit it with a layer of the Holy of Holies, yeah. or one of one of my prized possessions, flesh wash. <laughs> flesh wash yeah. is oh, unpleasant to say, yeah. uh, but it is an old Citadel ink, which is uh, no longer produced, 
and was really handy for a whole bunch of whole bunch of uh, purposes. And I've got like a third of a pot left. What col- I, what color is it? It is kind of like a. It's getting uh, late, Cameron. Put on a pot of the flesh wash. It is a <laughs> clear coat of like reddish brown oh, okay. that is really good for making very rich colored leathers. Oh, I see. Flesh wash. Wash. There was true. wash. I mean, flesh wash is just like taking a shower, right? Yeah. Do well, there was an old, an old Bill Hicks <laughs> bit where he was talking about being hired to do yes, a. Yes, I also uh, shower every day. An advertisement for an English beverage English called wash. Orange Drink. And I always, the way he pronounced Orange Drink was uh, very much how I imagine saying Flesh Wash. It's a vaguely dystopian oh, sounding God, series of words. Is that? <laughs> it's going to be fun, Adam. Nope. Remember, milk, thin, milk. thin your paints. Don't and worry, the Adam. Paint will do a lot of work for you. If you think, if you're thinking you're doing right. badly, I'll, I'll take a bullet. I'll just accidentally drop a whole thing of paint on my. <laughs> yeah, whoops! <laughs> dump it in a pot. Just dump it in the pot of flesh wash to give it a good, good lather. Flesh wash, flesh wash, flesh wash, flesh <laughs> wash. What color are the energies around her feet? Flesh. Because we've got like. She's got fire in one hand, ice in the other. And, and then she I also am. does like solar stuck and in stuck in the middle of you. Uh, well, like if she's got like a fireball going, an ice like, ball going. The yeah. spellweavers also use like a lot of like um, green magic and they have a little bit of dark magic. Hmm. Are you going to do the clothes dark or leave them light? I think I'm going to do the clothes dark, so maybe I should do the the stuff around her feet, like kind of a greeny. Yeah. Living magic. Oh, I don't like this. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're going to be fine. You can have a bit of dark magic as a treat. Hmm. Oh, Ooh. just a little bit of dark magic? Just a little bit of dark magic. I mean, it's like it's like dark chocolate. Like you don't need like a lot. Yeah, mm. just enough to keep you healthy, right? Yeah. Gross. We're looking at like a sixty-five percent dark magic. Mm. You can mm. have all the dark chocolate you want and keep it away Yay! from me. Dibs. Damn it! I fucking hate the stuff. It's so good. You have you have like a couple of squares of dark chocolate with like some raspberries. Oh, oh did I tell you about the saddest thing that ever happened to me? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> tell us more. I. I don't know whether you've told us this before. Okay, I I was sick for a few days last week, and I had oh, just no, come home recent. from a con, uh, so my fridge was empty, and there was nothing I wanted in the universe more than strawberry ice cream. I was like, I'm sick, my throat hurts, I want strawberry ice cream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And I can't get it. Like, there's no no place that delivers like strawberry ice cream, except for the grocery store which will do next day delivery of, of groceries. But I can't just order like a strawberry sundae from Dairy Queen. Um, however, the grocery store only does $50 minimum orders. Did you order $50 minimum of strawberry ice cream? No, I ordered like, I was like, all right, let's do this properly because you know, I, I need stuff to eat. So I ordered a bunch of canned goods and like fruit and vegetables and. Okay, okay. You, you know, a proper grocery order and it arrives and I got all of that, no strawberry ice cream. There was a rain check. Uh, no. Whoa. Not cool. Yeah. Grocery store. Damn. I, I was just... Gutted. Yeah. When you really want something, and you go through all the hoops to get it, and you get everything but the thing that you want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They you... were out. They were out. That's... You know, it's I up. agree. That's the saddest thing. I blame all the other people who apparently wanted strawberry ice cream. Using up all the strawberry ice cream reserves. Indeed. Yeah, maybe there was a run on ice cream. I mean, I've done the thing where it's like, ah, I really want this thing. but I don't have it, I could go get it. No, I'll do this other thing that's like probably a bit better for me. 
healthier mm. or something, and it'll be okay. And then you're just mad and sad. Yep. And like, I should have just gone. Yeah, gotten the thing because you need to like, oh. So now I'm just unhappy. Yep. And then you go and get it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the uh, it was in the in the Simpsons where they he like uh, opens up the freezer and is like mm, chocolate and then has like Neapolitan. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <laughs> stupid stra strawberry is the only one left. Yeah. With like yeah, he's got like three different containers of Neapolitan with all the chocolate eaten out of it. Yep. He's like Marge, we need more Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh ho! Mm. Mm. Pardon me, I was lost in thought. I do admit, this is the kind of stream I do enjoy mm. doing, where it's like something... Something that kind of feels tedious on your own. Yeah. With a group of friends, so that you can kind of hang out and... Agreed. And worry out loud and have somebody else tell you not to. <laughs> It's an underrated function of working in groups. It's why I always studied well together in, in school. Oh. You can commiserate, and then if you have real difficulties, maybe somebody else in your group understands it better than you do. Mm. What? That seems unlikely. Oh, uh, definitely uh, with the groups I got stuck almost, with. Almost did it. You screwed up. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh right, I still have coffee. Almost had our first um dip your paint in your coffee. Yeah. Water based experience. Is that brown water or is that coffee? Isn't isn't the uh drinking out of the wrong cup the more harrowing one? It is. But uh you can drink out of any cup is wrong if you dip your paint or dip your brush <laughs> in the wrong cup. Good point. Good point. Nice. <sighs> A nice coffee wash. Mm. Mm. Pour down that flesh wash. Just a coffee whitener. <laughs> so somebody uh, in the, um, I think in the comments on uh, one of the, the Gloomhaven videos suggested painting the bases, uh, like the colors of the, um, uh, the sort of color of the, uh, character um because like each each character has like a color that's sort of on their uh character sheet mm. yeah i think i think that was a if you're not going to paint them at least do the bases so we can tell them apart mm. kind of a thing i think once we paint them they'll be easier to tell apart especially yeah. since the enemies are all like little cardboard standees yeah yeah but it's a yeah the tricky it's a, it's tricky when um i've been you know having to experiment a little bit uh uh, when we're doing the Gloomhaven, because all the all the enemies are cardboard standees, so of course they don't really show up very well on the overhead. Yep. Mm. Oh my God! You're attacked by a bunch of two-dimensional objects. I mean, yes, every day, <laughs> every time I get out of bed, you gotta get you gotta fight the blanket, you gotta fight clothes. They're really all two-dimensional until you put them on. Oh Here are your God. email notifications. No, BG fight at night because he sleeps. In the morning, so it's like walking past a sleeping dragon. It's, it's nothing. I feel like walking past a sleeping dragon is like... Well, that's why Heather's our burglar. Yeah. It's not that hard. You just gotta be quiet. And don't open the curtains. <laughs> Remember, 
Only loot either RTSR or the uh, the crest shield. Never loot both because that works or that wakes them up. Mm. Does Beige uh, sleep on a enormous pile of uh, gold and treasure? Um, if you consider you the uh, a waterbed. <laughs> Oh, we, no, no, I we don't have the water bed anymore. But if you consider the the amount of money we put into buying a nice mattress, uh, yeah, he sleeps on a mm. on a hoard of gold and fluff. <laughs> he sleeps on a giant pile of VHS fan subs. <laughs> <laughs> Does he? No, we got rid of those. I, th- I feel that's more of an Ian thing. What's that Simpsons thing where like Homer is like they catch him when he falls over in the shower and it's like. He sleeps in this regenerative tent, which he believes oh. gives him sexy powers. <laughs> right, right. What <laughs> episode sleeps. was that? That's the one where he gets accused of the gummy to myelin. Oh, oh, right. Oh. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleeps nude in an oxygen tank. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, it is. Think. Which he believes yeah, gives him sexy okay. powers. I think I got all the parts that might be the jacket. <laughs> all right. Also, we if we're if we're gonna paint bases at all, uh, that's the thing I'm holding on to the most. I accidentally got a bunch of white on the, the brown part. Oh, that's easy enough to fix. You just paint the brown again. Yeah. Can you pass me that vermin brown. Yeah. Do you have like a, a lizardman green? Uh, like. Like a pale green. How's that? Yeah, that'd work. Or, or what's that? What's that? Yeah, this is a kind of like a duck's egg. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what color my skin is. All right. So shaky. Yeah, shaky. Um, those ones you're probably gonna. The Tamiya paint pots uh, are right bastards. Ah. So you've, you've got a, a like the Citadel and the Vallejo and the Tamehi. Is that the other one you've got? Tamio. Tamio. Tamia. Sorry. Uh, I mean, I I come to mini painting through model painting, which is what I used to do with my dad. Mm. And occasionally, I still buy like model kits, and uh, open them up and read the instructions, and then put them back in the box, and then put the box in a box, um, and then put that box in the basement. I do that with my kids. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and then I also buy paints that I will need to paint them. Oh, God. <laughs> Oof. Bubble. Yeah, the Tamiya stuff is a bit strange. Here, I can lend a hand with it. Yeah, I think it needs... It's a little separated, for sure. Yeah. You just gotta, like, beat the tar out of it when you, um... when you shake the pot. I like a dark brown. A dark brown. Uh, we've got that, we've got, if you like the reddish brown that uh, Adam is using, we can also use that, or... Flat Earth. What? You mean the Earth isn't flat? I would think that somebody who would make sure that they're not their traveling companions aren't flat earthers that you wouldn't believe in such <laughs> folk tales, Adam. Mm. Uh, then we also have earth mm. and leather brown. If one thing, Adam Savage continues to surprise. What was it that you asked that guild that you joined on the on the WoW stream? <laughs> oh, about I can't the jar remember. problem, wasn't it? What? You gave them the jar, jar problem. problem. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I asked them. They were like, I don't touch it. And I was like, I found my people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a very it's a very uh, good that question to determine oh, those around you. All right. And then you These immediately ones... quit the guild, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, good things can't last forever, Paul. And Paul. But didn't you ask them about like a flat earth problem? Ah, <laughs> uh, probably. Yeah, that sounds like something I would do. Yeah, because you had found your people and they also really liked you, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh this guy this guy slaps. And then somebody like gave you a bunch of stuff to get towards your whatever your goals were. Okay, I didn't get any brown on the white. Good. 
There you go. Aha! All right, so I dunk in the pot, I guess? Yes. And pull out... A little bit? A little yeah. bit. Cameron, do you have a pink? Uh... Or like a flesh color? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got like a, a tail. His tail needs to be... Ah, uh, like a um, rat tail thing? Yeah. How about... Sure. Is that good? Yeah. Or we also have a slightly darker colored one. Uh, no, this is fine. Okay. It's one thing I don't like about rat. Like I used to have mice as pets, mm -hmm. and I had a pet mouse too. Yeah, and and they're really cute and nice. But there's something rats being bigger, and also they they've got their tails are kind of nasty. I don't know. Compared to mice, anyway. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just because they're bigger, so you can see it more cl clearly. But uh, they always kind of turn me off on rats in terms of like as a pet. I I used to have a hamster, and I I thought he was great. Mm. Uh, the only problem is that they have no bladder or bowel control. Yeah. Like they don't actually seem to have the ability to control themselves. Yeah, I, I had hamsters. The other thing with hamsters is that because they're you know. Um, burrowing kind of animals they don't have any really any real kind of uh perception of like height they also don't have object permanence so you like like i found with my with my hamsters like you'll put them on like a table and they would just start walking towards the edge of the table and fall off if you didn't stop them oh no <laughs> like they just didn't really have any conception of like they just like start scuttling Mm -hmm. Whereas mice actually knew what they were doing, could be like you could carry them around on your shoulder and stuff. Which is nice. Yeah, ha hamsters are just like must get lower. Find a crevasse. A crevasse. Yeah. Also, hamsters are very short-sighted because they burrow and stuff, so. Not great at future planning. Also, also dwarf hamsters are nasty. Nasty? They're, like, dwarf hamsters are, like, super cute and tiny, mm -hmm. but they're actually, like, the most, like, scary kind, like, not scary, but, like, the, the worst-tempered kind of hamster. They will. Oh, really? In, in the wild, they, like, attack, like, rabbits in group. Like, they, like, a big herd. No shit. A big herd of dwarf hamsters will, like, go after, like, a rabbit. Yeah. It's brutal. It's weird to me to think of hamsters as, like, a wild animal. Whereas teddy bear hamsters are, like, the super nice ones. Hmm. Oh, crap. Just go down. Uh, I have discovered the world's greatest subreddit. Oh. Which is r slash little grabbies. Little grabbies. Little grabbies. What's it is little grabbies. Uh, the rule one of little grabbies is you know in the sideboard of rules for a subreddit, it's uh, pictures must include hand like appendages, no paws, <laughs> right? <laughs> and what it is is it's pictures of animals holding things. Oh. But they have to have like a sufficiently hand like thing to do it. No paws because paws it's are a shit tier maniple. Mm. To like massive mm. amounts of like drama about what's considered to be a, like it, relatively it's little. Idea. I've definitely been on subreddits where it's like this is you know, you're this is the wrong subreddit for this kind of post. Oh um, yeah, I've seen those. I saw a video of a, a monkey opening a juice box. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I was like, man, you ever just feel and watch an animal be way smarter than you are? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because like this little like she gave the juice box to the monkey and it like. Pulled the straw off the uh -huh. package, yeah, okay. bit open the plastic, pulled out the straw, put the straw in, which was like watching a little furry baby, like a little human. <laughs> like watching a monkey put a straw in a juice box yeah. was like a, a little bit terrifying. It's like, oh God, they're smart. Yeah. It's like, oh no. <laughs> it's, like, it's like watching one load a rifle. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, uh oh. Yeah. Oh no, Chappie. Yeah. <laughs> Who taught it that? Well, Diane worked. So, yeah. But Little Grabbies is just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, there, there was a, a, I believe it was a 
chimpanzee that um, ran a train station for quite a while. That it just there there was a uh, it's One, like, his name is Ringo Starr. <laughs> 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 No, no, he was, there, there's like the guy who ran the station, who was supposed to be running the station, was like this old guy who had uh, mobility issues. Oh, yeah. And he had this I like pet it. chimpanzee, and he had he taught it to like, you know, uh, s do the switches and stuff. No kidding. And, and to the point where it would start just, it could do it, like it, it learned how to do it without him even like prompting it and knew when to do the different stuff and things. And then it went for, on for quite a while until like, some... Ins inspectors came by. We're like, ah, uh, uh, could this not happen? <laughs> is that a monkey? You've got a gun. <laughs> I love how uh, somebody pointed out that oh, that Hellboy uh, works panel if you move when yeah. you order. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can move the panels wherever you want. But I prefer the one from Amazing Screw on Head, where it's just like the monkey just goes off. It's amazing. <laughs> Please, yeah. Did the chimp get paid for running I... the train station? Uh, I don't know. Probably a fed. Maybe. I mean, it is capitalism, so. Maybe got room and board. Probably no benefits. Um, what does stuff take generally to dry? Uh, there is a lot of hurry up and wait in painting. Um, it can dry. You have to actually just eyeball it. It's going to probably depend partly on how thick it is. Mm -hmm. Which is another reason to use thin coats. Thin coats dry pretty quickly. Because they just get absorbed into the primer. Cameron, do you have like a gray, like a nice, like a metal gray? Oh, I've got steel yeah. or uh, gun metal. I've got silvers. Steel. Steel? Okay. I imagine you typically use maybe brighter lights closer to your figures. Yeah, I've got, I ordered a very... Um, it's hard to see. I got, <laughs> actually, like struggling. I, I think it's technically a SoSat lab, right? I guess we probably could have set up lights better. So but I've got fine. a huge, like, meter-wide fluorescent lamp right above my desk that was recommended by a bunch of different, like, model painters online. Yeah, because I've also seen you have like um, it's called what a hand or something that you stick. Oh the yeah, my, thing I in. don't know where my uh... right. Yeah, my painting handle, which I thought I was, was really interesting. I wondered where it went because I only picked this up a couple of weeks ago. It got absorbed into the moon base. <laughs> well, like for years, like twenty years, twenty-five years, longer of painting miniatures. 30 years, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm old. Um, 50 years! I've never used anything remotely like this, years. and I was like, what the hell is this garbage? They're trying to sell me more crap. I can see it. Highway uh, robbery. Uh, Highway robbery. Yes. I've never had to use anything like this before, and people are like, why don't you just... People were watching me on stream and being like, you keep touching parts that you've just painted. And I'm like, yeah, it's just... That just happens. You get used to it. <laughs> this is the way she goes, idiots. Yeah. yeah. Now sub to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so people convinced me to try it, and I was like, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, they were right. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, chat was right. They yeah. can never find out. Yeah. Right. I want some brown. So much wasted time. Uh, Heather, are you done with? Yeah, you can yeah. go ahead. Is that, that brown good? Or good. do you want more, like, leathery brown? Nah. Okay. The, um, oh, wait. Yeah, leathery. Uh, could you hand the... So this one? Yeah. Thank you. The, um... Because there, there, is, there is a point, right? There's a, there's a point where stuff is clearly being made so that you will spend money on it, not because it's really actually that much more useful mm -hmm. to have. Mm -hmm. um, one, one of my... Uh, one of my college teachers... Anytime I came into class and I was like, oh, hey, I saw there's this really cool thing that helps you, like, rip seams better or does this other thing. He's just like, oh, gadgets. Yep. Garbage. All of them. Money what? wasters. And I'm like, this one works really well, though. Meh. Brah. What you got to do is you have to learn how to, how to do it the proper way. Then you can use all of your... 
Oh no, it's just like gadgets are all just BS. Never, huh. never use them. Do it the old way always. And I was like, okay, cool. I mean, I get it. Definitely, some of these are are you don't need them, mm-hmm. or are just nice to have. Like, because there's a difference between this, yeah, this something helps that's... you and you absolutely have to have it. Mm-hmm. And... Oh, wow. But as it turns out, these these are the real deal. It pains me. It pains me. It causes me like physical, actual, like, <laughs> ugh, odium. But yeah, you were right, chat. This is the real deal. Well, you know the rules. Always trust chat, never trust chat. Yep. If chat would be consistent, that would be really helpful. <laughs> This is the problem with the hive mind. Yep. How did the board get so much done? I like my new philosophy is that their my victories are my victories and their victories are my victories. Ah. Oh. <laughs> what about yeah. their failures? Their failures. Okay. If one of them screws up, they all screw up. Yep. Yeah. If one of them's right, they're all right. When and, I was watching uh, a movie with someone, I used to have this like repeated thing, which was I would tell them either be attentive or be quiet. But, like, don't ask me, <laughs> stop asking me what, like, what's going on in the movie because we've both been seeing the movie at the same time. Oh, you've met my mother. Be right? attentive or be quiet. And I, I modified that with chat, which was either be correct or be quiet. Yeah. Right? Which I really appreciate. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, but, you know, when you're watching, you, you're both watching the same new movie. Yep. Right? That you haven't seen before and they lean over and they're like, Who's that? Can and I'm like, have... we've been here for the same time. Can I have that gray color that I had for the skin? The, like, the oh, 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 Sp- yeah. Uh, Space Wolf gray. It should be right. Oh, is this it? Yep. Space Wolf. <laughs> Space Wolf. Uh, they're the. Uh, they're now called the Ulrika Fenrisia. Okay. Although I do like. They're a Space Marine chapter. They're actually, like, kind of cool. Um, though I do like... Uh, now Games Workshop has tried to make things sound less goofy on the surface by leaning heavily into the fake Latin. Oh. Except with the Space Sharks. Ooh. <laughs> space Sharks. The Space Sharks. I was the remember sp- making a... I was thinking it like Space Pants. Space Pants. Mm. <laughs> These pants are from outer space. Like they, they might call the space sharks the Carcharodons officially, but nobody calls them that. They're like, stop using that dumb name. They're the space sharks. Space sharks. It's what happens when the street sharks go into space. Ah, uh, yeah, street sharks. Yeah, so street sharks and uh, uh, mice from Mars. I mean, yeah, just combine those together. Classic Mars. TV on that dumb T-Rex show. It was not that good once I actually found it again. Dumb T-Rex show. The one Barney? With the, no, like... no, no. The one with the five T-Rex is it was kind of like almost Power Rangers. Uh, I, I love I love Street Sharks. It's not a good show. It's okay if you don't know it. Biker Mice from Mars and then the dumb T-Rex show. The T-Rex show that didn't make any sense. Uh... The others had coherent lore, Paul? Yeah, Paul. Corey, Paul, can you pass me some of the paint you're currently using? Bro? Yeah. Oh boy. I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks good, Adam. I... You've got like, tre- uh, uh, not Shredder. Uh... Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Splinter. you're, you're going to call Splinter. my character Shrek? He's got a big Shredder in <laughs> He's got that big Shrek energy. Some butt. <laughs> Get out. Might as well be walking on the sun. <laughs> The 
best do you part have a about darker brown on this. Uh, what do you want to use it for? His belt. Oh, his belt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I need like something that would this work? Yeah, that should be good. I just didn't want it to differentiate from clothes and his clothes. Check it out, I got the inside of his ear flesh colored. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the best part of him. The best part about, well, like, <laughs> you know what? All of our gamer reflexes, yeah. fine motor control, yeah. you've got the skills for this already. You just, <laughs> you just haven't realized it yet. Oh. <laughs> Too much. Well, that's fine. I wish I had this much control when I tried to put nail polish on. I just approach putting nail polish on as like miniature painting. Do you, do you water down your nail polish? I use a thinner. Oh. Makes it easier to get even coats. And dries faster. Hmm. That's a good idea. I'm not about to try that. Because you can get like bottles of nail polish like uh, thinner. I'm gonna have to look into that because I always find that I just can't quite get the, the like either. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the, okay. Like, too thick, and then it takes forever to dry, and mm. then you do that thing where you breathe, and everything oh. just goes to shit. Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, okay, I guess I gotta start over. The uh, the only thing that ever gave me trouble when I did my nails was um, the top coat, mm. which the top coat I bought. Like, everything else went on smoothly and easily and dried quickly. The top coat uh, took about six hours to dry. It yeah. wasn't even, like, a large exaggeration. It just felt sticky Ooh. Yeah. forever. Yeah, it takes a while to set, so you. Um, that's why nail dryers are actually mm. uh, a nice thing to have. Even though it's just blowing air on it. I, um, I was using my halogen lamp for a little while. But as it turns out, that's hard on your skin. Yeah, yeah, I imagine it would be. I like the idea of, of nails as just being, you know, really boring miniatures. It's like the, the mold lines are so visible on them. <laughs> I think you just need a thinner nail brush than the ones that they put in the. In the jar? In the jar. Like yeah. They, they, they fan too easily. Agreed. And then, like, when you're trying to get the edges, it just, like, gets half your finger. Yep. And it's like, ah, cool. I it's, hate doing touch-ups with remover. It's terrible. Did you, uh, did you see that from uh, the Maricat there, Cam? Uh... Flesh wash sold by the... Original manufacturer. You mean? Coat d'arms? Okay. Story goes, way back when, uh, the company that Games Workshop brands all of its paint and modeling supplies under, mm -hmm. Citadel, didn't used to make their paint. They contracted with a different company. Um, and when Citadel brought the paint manufacturer into house, they were just like, okay, thank you very much for your service. Goodbye now. And that paint manufacturer is still out there, still making paint. What? And now they sell it under Coat d'Arms. Oh, okay. <clears throat> name. Is there any suggestions to make... Can I add a color to this tail to not make it look like just a fucking... <laughs> flesh tube. Uh, what we body. can do is absolutely, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Yeah. What is I a tail? You... It's not a flesh a tube. tube. It's yeah. basically a flesh tube. You get to use, actually, hold on. Because it just looks... Well, there's like it looks shading gross, right? and highlighting yeah. and things you can uh, use So what do, right? shading, what washes do is they take care of a lot of that shading for you. So you got flesh wash it. Yeah. Flesh tube with, bo with a bone resident? Gross. So what you can do now is take... 
that and mm -hmm. add a thin layer on top of everything, okay. except for the fur, right? Like okay. uh, that flesh wash or this one actually might be a bit better because looking at this one, this is the actually, this is a bit older than I thought. So that is like my precious. Okay. And you can just take a little bit from the lid and mix it with some water, and it will thin it down. Like or, just, uh, yeah, just put it on the palate, yeah. and then get a bit of water, and slather it on anything, and it will take care of all the shading for you. And if it's going on a bit too thick, you can just water it down. What it will do is it will settle into all the cracks and mold lines, or not mold lines, but like all the sculpting lines. Mm -hmm. I learned the hard way one day from uh, shaking salad dressing mm -hmm. that you should always put your hand over top of the cap before you shake it. A uh, thing better to learn with salad dressing than in the chemistry lab. Mm. Yeah. Thumb on the cap. We had a, oh, what was it, French dressing mm -hmm. that uh, Beach had put salad dressing on, but he just put the cap lightly on top. Oh. And he didn't close it, and I thought it was closed. <laughs> and I went to shake it very hard, and so uh, I got it in my eye which was the Whoa. most unpleasant part, but I also managed to get it into the ceiling. Yeah, that's nice. coming out. So yeah, uh, cleaning it, that was hard. I feel like that's actually like bees just booby trapping it for you. Oh, he was, he was very apologetic. <laughs> good, good. It is correct so, that he is so. Uh, do we want to take a uh, quick commercial break? Sure. So we're okay. about a little over an hour into. Okay. Yeah, let's okay. take a quick break and see. How we can use that to also like see how people are feeling about things. Uh, all right, we'll be back in uh, just a few minutes. Hello and welcome back uh, to this bonus stream where I have just. Uh, need the underside of the table mm. and uh, struck a nerve cluster. Uh, so rip to everyone who had their elbows on the table and was trying to paint something a couple of seconds ago. How's everyone feeling? I think I need a darker <clears throat> green for Carl darker. Bogo's skin. Darker green. Okay. Yeah, because I want something more contrasty with the, the polar bear cloak. Well, what we can do then is you can either, uh, you can add a wash like what Adam is doing. Mm -hmm that will sink into the, uh, the, the recesses and darken it quite a bit. Yeah. That, I mean, I, I like starting light and actually adding washes. Mm. So okay. do you want, that would be what I would recommend. Well, then the other thing I have to do is paint my buckler mm. and sward. Okay. So let's do the, uh, how, how dry is that skin? It's not, <laughs> not great right now. Okay. Then let's mm. do the buckler and sword. Mm. Sorry, again, that was got, the- Got to moisturize. You got a uh, combination right. skin there? Is it very dry? Or how's your T-zone? Let Moist. me... Moist T-zone. Throw in and as many other zone. words I can think of. Have you let the egg that we sent home with you die? <laughs> I let it go. It's... It was its time, Adam. <laughs> you like, really don't want to eat the eggs they give you because they've been sitting in the Cameron, school. What do I, can I whitewash... Can I do a wash on the lighter stuff? Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what you want to use on the lighter stuff would actually either be probably a mixture of black ink with um, shadow gray, which is over where? Here. So what I would like you to do, Adam, mm -hmm. is mix up a little bit of these two paints. Dip your brush in that one first, mm -hmm. and then I'll add a little bit of that, and then some water. Okay. And that should give you a dark bluish gray color that will settle into all the like the little nooks and crannies on the fur. 
Do they get really in depth with like paint names and colors in the same way that you see at the paint store, where it's just like here's sixteen thousand colors of white. Yep, Games Workshop has gone off, uh, gone off. <laughs> with, with, <laughs> they have like three different lines of paint, where they've got normal. What do they call them? They have base colors, which I'm are sure this to put, put. oh, just a a tiny little bit actually. Black, a little black will go a long way. They've got base colors, uh, shade colors, washes, and then one other one. That much? Yeah, that, that, that should be fine. And then add a bunch of water to it, yeah. like one brush full of water. Yeah. Mix it up and see how it looks, and then you can adjust later. So, yeah, if you go into the Games Workshop downtown, it will have... Uh, a wall of paint. Just, yeah. Somebody uh, earlier was asking about contrast paints. That's the name of one of them. Is that like a special, is that just a kind, like, is that just like a designation for colors or is it actually like a special kind of paint? I have not done a good job of keeping up on what all the different Games Workshop paints are because I've been out of it for like 10 years. Um, I know some of them are designed to go on unthinned and just like, like cover things, right? Um, like thick ink, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Thick ink. Oh, uh, Paul. I think the chat monitor has stopped moving. Oh. Huh. And the timer. Oh, iPad that's is just. Looking it, for oh, it's yeah. yeah. It's lost connections. Why is Where? Behind you. <gasps> there we go. Thank you, Paul. Sorry, I forgot I was totally blocking the camera there. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's the dark mass front of the oh. table. Also, another important thing for painting, every few minutes, just uh, sit up straight again and oh, yeah. move your shoulders back. Otherwise, you'll wind up with painter's hunch, mm -hmm. which is no good. Uh, oh. I, I think on my stream at home, we identified, or I, I claimed that the muscle that gets utterly ruined on long painting streams is the, uh, the filet. <clears throat> You know, on a cow, this is like the filet mignon between the shoulders. <laughs> yeah. uh, which, you know, judging from how it gets used on a cow, is not ever used. That's why it's super tender. <laughs> I, um, I was going to ask, actually, because uh, uh left my paintbrush in the water. You said that's super bad for paintbrushes. Uh, what, it's, like, not on the short term, but you will wind up with a J-shaped brush. Oh, so it's, it's more that it's on the bottom of the glass, and the so it's yeah. taking a new form as opposed to... It's yeah. going to soak up water forever or something Oh, like yeah, that. no, like, these get okay. wet and then, you know, dry. Okay. Uh, I should have brought some soap, but we've got soap here, because you just, like, use some mild soap on your brush when you're done using it. So, like, a hand soap or dish soap or something? Yeah, anything just to get the paint out of yeah, it. Yeah, so the... it you, Otherwise, you'll wind up with, like, a uh, crust of paint slowly creeping up the length of your brush. Yeah, because soap is just molecules that grab onto other molecules yeah. and like take them away, right? Yeah, like, they've no, usually it's got a lubricant. They've usually got like a um, a hydrophobic and a hydrophilic end of a molecule. They're long, so the hydrophobic end will uh, grab onto oils and other hydrophobic things, and the hydrophilic end will bond to or will uh, uh, associate with water. Mm -hmm. So you actually like have one part that will grip onto water and one part that grips onto oils. Hmm. So it will form a bridge between the two and allow them to be removed. It will also lower the surface tension of water so that water can get under spaces between mm. yeah. dirt and whatever non-dirt thing uh, you have. One of the handy things that you can use when you're making washes is uh, adding a little bit of future floor polish 
or it used to be called Future Floor Polish. Now I think it's called Pledge something. Okay. But it lowers the surface tension quite a lot. So it just gets, like, suddenly it flows very easily into everything. Yeah, uh, a Mycel. How are you feeling over there, Adam? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Confident, I love it. And remember, these are just like, these will be seen on stream from a distance of nine feet. <laughs> Can we increase oh, that? Yeah, uh, uh, costuming rules. Because mm -hmm. so, in, in costuming, we're taught that uh, costumes in movies have to look good from six inches away. Right. Because cameras get really close and see, you see a lot of detail. Whereas costumes on stage only have to look good from six feet away. Yeah. So you don't have to be as like accurate with a lot of your stuff. Oh, as, long as, uh, as long as you don't see the staples. What happened? Uh, it's got a bunch of... Easy peasy, easy to fix. What you do is if it's the wash yeah. that float, you can just wash it off your brush, get get some water and clean it off because it will take forever to dry. So you should be able to clean it up with just a bit of water on your brush. It's like that the weird thing with like, you know, for old TV shows and stuff where the cosplay versions of outfits are actually substantially better looking than the one that they used on the show. Yeah. Well, the one on the show was just, you know, only worked from like certain angles. Yeah. Huh. And to be honest, when you're working on a, a strict deadline for that stuff, which has got a high turnaround time, uh, there's a lot of cheating that goes on. Mm. Yeah, yeah. As long as you can't see the staples. Yeah. From, from the front row, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Even with TV stuff, as long as you can't see, because uh, like a lot of TV stuff, it's the it's the inside mm. of stuff, unless they have like um, some kind of scene where a person's changing clothes or something. Right. You don't need to see what the, like the underseams aren't going to be done all fancy. Mm. There's no point. Right. You, can, like, you only have so much time to get that costume together and fit it and I, I remember make six of them. reading somewhere in Game of Thrones that Maisie William, uh, Arya Stark, in like season five, she's got like this tunic with a bunched up scarf around the neck. Mm -hmm. And apparently that scarf was actually like either not fabric or like molded plastic or something because it had to look the same shot to shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, couldn't move around. Oh, so it had to be always bunched in the same way. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and apparently that was very uncomfortable. Or it was like at some point in its lifespan, like 90% staples. Wow. Uh, the um, we went on a field trip for a to a to a TV studio mm -hmm. place that was filming some sort of show with girls and horses, and the um, a lot of their clothes for their costumes are are store bought because it's just like oh you wear a lot of jeans and you wear whatever okay yeah um, but they still have to keep track of continuity and and everything mm -hmm. and it's like you still have six sets of this outfit because one of them is for getting dirty right and you still have other scenes where they're not dirty maybe or here's the one where it's now it's got to be ripped in a certain way or yeah i know there's there's i think for like lord of the rings or whatever they had ones they had like versions of all the co costumes with like you know the this with different different amounts of dirt and stuff on them huh. and so you know depending mm -hmm. on what day of the uh, uh, adventure that are on. They have to make sure that they're wearing the right version of the outfit. There yeah. was an old Sierra adventure game called Phantasmagoria that uh, was their first like live action game that had you know film mm -hmm. instead of animation. Okay. And apparently the actress playing the main character showed up, uh, you know, in, in her street clothes the first day of filming, wearing like this pumpkin colored sweater, mm -hmm. and the director loved the color because it just popped. Mm -hmm. And so they were like, can we just use that for your costume? And over the course of shooting, it was slowly destroyed until it like was barely hanging together at the end of the game. Mm. Yeah. Oh man, doing 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 stuff for outfits where it's like you have to do wear and tear to them mm. is great because it's like, oh, we want this to uh, basically look like you you've been through the apocalypse okay well time to uh rake it over some 
rocks and then drive on top of it and then like <laughs> throw dirt on it and maybe maybe to get a natural wear on it you want mm -hmm. people to like put it on and roll around in it or uh if you want uh because like in jeans mm -hmm. you'll get things where like if your phone's been sitting in there for a oh, while right, it yeah, starts you... to get that imprint so you yep. put that in the pocket and then you run things over it to like right. force it to right, right, distress right. it and stuff and the trick is you got to get it to rip and be like all distressed but not but in like you know the right way mm -hmm. you don't want to you know expose areas that shouldn't be exposed or whatever but it's, yeah, that's it's really the... fun uh, Flat Luigi with the pumpkin colored like shirt. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. It just had really good high contrast, apparently, and they loved it. And the actress was like, it was my favorite sweater, and now it's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how Guy Fieri wound up with that look? Is that he just wore an ugly Hawaiian shirt one day randomly, and the costume director was like, this is your life now? It wouldn't surprise me. I think it was Hosk, Lord Hosk, one of our mods, who said that, like, you know, a a comp sci teacher in the late 90s. Just pick whatever for your e email address. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Six months later. This is your real name now. For the rest of your life. Like, yeah, yeah, like, this This is now the name that you will use for the rest of your life. Heather, could you pass me that brown back? This one? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have my original email anymore. It was not. It wasn't like inappropriate or anything. It's just, it's just not what I wanted people to email me at. Yeah, for the rest I didn't. Of my life. I have friends who are like, I'm not comfortable with being glass coffin sixty nine at Hotmail for the rest of my life. You know. Oh, I still have my Hotmail address, which my grandmother laughs at every single time. I tell it to her because she's like, <laughs> hot <and> men. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, doesn't no, it's mail like letters. <laughs> Grandma. Wait, she that's the oh, part she laughs at. She's laughing at, at the hot mail part. <laughs> yes. Hot males in your area. It's like right? that was the part you didn't choose. I think I'm done. Whoa. Ooh. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Oh, it's good. It's very good. Adam. Yeah, that looks great. Thanks. Uh, he doesn't believe us. Uh, nope, sure don't. <laughs> you don't, <laughs> don't believe anybody. You, anybody you, anytime. Down, down where you were. Where you were. Uh, there, there. There. Yes. Adam, you did good work. I think the wash on the tail did. Adam yeah. Uh, and I love the, the inside of the ear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait, can we see the inside? Oh, yeah, look at that. I don't know if I should try to get the other ear or not. You can. We've got a bit of time left yeah, in the stream. You want to give him like you, a little nose? You might also. I, oh, I might. I can give him a little nose. Yeah, a little pink nose. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Kind of hard to see though. Uh, could I get the black ink back, please, Adam? I feel like he's gonna stab people really hard. Well, I mean, that's that's. I think that's the desired aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And the thing with miniature painting is that it looks like dog shit until you're done, right? You'll be like, "This is awful. This is awful." Ooh, Morty, <laughs> uh, I've ruined this thing. It's terrible. It's terrible. Oh wait, this is actually done now, and it's good. Right? There's a bunch of things that work like that. Like, yeah. Congratulations on his uh, tail not looking like a flesh tube. Yeah, I don't... Now it just looks kind of like a weird poop. <laughs> but, well, you can do another highlighting pass with it. With what is a tail color. if not a weird poop, poop really? Yeah, it's a poop that doesn't go away. <laughs> At PAX East, I watched a furry go through a revolving door yeah. in full fursuit. Yeah. And it, for one thing, braver than the entire United States Marine Corps. <laughs> for one thing, right? Because I could just see a million scenarios where this person's fursuit like gets some kind of like their tail caught in the revolving door and they just get eviscerated mm -hmm. um and i thought 
I, I was asking another furry about this, and they said that they're working on like heads up displays inside the helmets or inside the heads so they can like oh, yeah. see I and have see eye that. tracking so that the eyes move appropriately. And I figured they're actually going to just make power armor at some point mm -hmm. because at some point somebody is going to incorporate one of those um, lifting is that what that exoskeletons. Was? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, what? Oh, well. Right? Somebody's going to make a fursuit that's too heavy and they're just going to incorporate one of those like yeah. uh, uh, power. Power uh, assist suits. Yeah. And then we're just going to have power armor, right? Uh, and somebody pointed out that there are now articulated tails that can help you balance. Hmm. And, and, you know, it's, and then, like, the U.S. military, uh, you know, has to, takes on the technology and has outfits all their, it's like, could we have the same technology, but it, not looked like a wolf? No. Absolutely not. That's, uh, it's, it doesn't work if it doesn't look like a wolf. You huh. dishonor the fursuit spirit. Okay. And apparently there are cooling vests that furries wear yes. that, uh, yeah. They're necessary. Yeah. Uh, uh, that the military actually uses now. Yeah. Does this mean we get to do this again every time we switch characters? Yep. Of course. Sure. I don't see why not. Let's do it. Um, I'm here for it. If you all are. We have to. We can't keep the same character the whole time, right? Yeah, they well got to retire sometime. Yeah. It depends, I guess. Maybe they never meet their life goal. Maybe they never get to go home. Don't mood. Don't say that. I have to hit like fifteen campaigns. I, think I have to do side stories. Are we allowed to share what ours are? Oh, I guess they're secret. The, are they? Uh, I mean, no, I guess it doesn't no, really the, matter. The, the main goal of what your character does oh, right. to retire is not secret. It's okay. the, um, it's oh, the goal the for mission the campaign. Goal. Right. For the mission, I think. Yeah, the scenario goals. Can I have that Star Wolf? Oh, Metal Wolf? Yeah. Uh, Metal Wolf Chaos. It's right next to the other paint pot. This, this one? Yep. Mm. Yeah. Technically speaking, there's no reason, like, you can you retire your guy, but there's no reason why your next person cannot be the same class. Oh, okay. You don't have to, like... You can just run it back? But yeah, you can have the same... You've got to repaint them, you know. <laughs> but, uh... You, you can also do new classes. Well, we unlock classes when uh, stuff retires, so... Right, Apparently, yeah. I'm going to unlock the bard class. Whoa! Or, at least it has a musical note. I'm assuming it's a bard. Maybe it's just a big piano. Maybe. Self-propelled piano. Just a kid's bop album. <laughs> Sick. I mean, that would kind of rule. I also finally saw Knives Out last night. Oh! It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, it was fun. It, like, changes genre four or five times. I think I saw it. Uh, I was talking about it last night with some friends, and they said that someone tweeted at Ryan Johnson that for the next movies, uh, 007, they should change accents every, every film. I've heard that. And apparently he's into it. Yeah. He's like, Belgian next time. I'm going to be full-on Hercule Poirot. That I'd like to see. Grow a little mustache. Nice. Looking nasty. Ooh, very nice. So what we can do now, if yeah. you'd like... I like his polar bear pants. Is uh, you can do a wash on the leather. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. Oh, that looks sick. Uh, so if you use flesh wash on the leather, 
Okay. That'll, like, flesh wash on vermin fur just works mm -hmm. really well. Um, uh, and on the, on the, uh, like, the, the, um, the polar bear cloak, mm -hmm. what you can do is dry brush with white oh. to make it pop. Yeah. Where you get a little bit of paint on the brush, brush most of it off on, like, a paper towel, and then lightly go yeah. over top. Yeah, okay. I, I like the style of, of, like, bare chest and big, thick, furry pants. It's a solid look. What wash uh, were you suggesting for the uh, green for the skin? Uh, we would need to make one. Okay. Although, like, I do have dark green ink, mm -hmm. but that might be a little heavy. Actually, if you blended these two. The flesh and the dark green? Yeah. Let's try it. That might work well. So just, actually, I'll start with the green. Just, like, really thin. Yeah. Is this everyone's first, like, shot at painting, or have you all done s similar things before? No. Not for about 15 years. Okay. My mom liked making um, model railroads. Ooh. So we'd always paint, like, the little men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got some, some skills. Yeah. And that's how we got into, like, doing a little bit of Warhammer painting. Ooh. Yeah, really model liked. railroad with like Warhammer guys around it. Yep. Awesome. What color is my character's default thing? Like, do we know? What's your uh, what? blue? Like, uh, the, oh, what the color? color? I want to paint the base. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what you can do then is I'm going to give you McCrag blue. Let me. I, I should be able to actually. Better than my old friend, Mr. McCrag. A leg for an arm and an arm for a leg. And this is a Citadel base coat, so it will just, like, go on and, like, cover the base. Do you want a slightly larger brush to do that with? It's like indigo. Okay, yeah, then, yeah, the McCrag blue should be about the right color. Okay. You might want to use a larger brush for it because it's a large area. Uh, no, I'll use those because I'm okay. worried about... Like friendly fire? Yeah. No worries. Are we in anime now? <laughs> what kind of anime would we be? Slice of life. Us four? Yeah. With my extensive anime. Yes, Adam. I want to know what you think yeah. our anime is. Uh, you have extensive knowledge of it. Okay. Ooh, what about that one uh, that turned out to just be an ad? For uh, uh, Cameron's like the character that was like thinks he's bad at everything, but is actually just hyper good at like one or two things. He's like a specialist, right? But All always right. talks about how bad he is at everything. Okay. 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 Um, let's see. I just haven't found my calling yet. Yeah. Cool. No, you have. It's just like you're, you never acknowledge how good you are at the one or two things. Okay. And all you ever talk about is how you're like awkward and. Okay. You know? Yeah, no, uh, true story, really. Um, Corey is the one that's like the veteran that's been around for like 20 years. <laughs> The long, like you Too know, old for this. Yeah, not old. I'm not trying to say old, but you're just like the most experienced one. All right. Yeah. You know? I, I was just gonna say as a note. Um, uh, here's you can see from the these are just the video from the previous uh, thing. These are the colors. Okay. The colors that. Uh, oh. You are. Okay. And those those colors are just based on the the like uh, oh, color yeah, that, yeah. the color that's on your uh, character sheet. Okay. So. Corey and Adam are actually a very similar color. Their characters are. 
Right, I forgot I was orange, which is why I was like, yeah, Rooftop Karen. All right, so Cameron is is good at things, but not like Heather's like uh, Heather's mine from Akame Got Kill. Little I don't girl, know. big gun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know who that is, but yeah, cool. I, I'm just gonna agree with it. What about you? Save the best for last. Uh. Don't know. Well, your waifu in that anime does she has <laughs> does she have a husbando? No, mm -hmm. she doesn't. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's not paint. I was like, did I get paint on my pants? That'd be bad. I always picture Adam as like One Punch Man. Mm. Just getting those deals. A friend had me watch Mob Psycho, and I've watched several episodes. But, like, the main character in that is, like, this kid who is psychically incredibly powerful but has moral issues with using it for anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, it strikes me as very similar to you, Adam. Like, you know, <laughs> tremendous powers, but Doesn't restraint, <laughs> discipline. <laughs> wow. All no you, one's ever called me discipline before. All you need is an adult psychic to exploit you for free labor. Like, that's all you need. Capitalism. Except Reagan's the best. I saw a tweet that was um, the opening to Crunk's Not Dead, <laughs> but with uh, uh, God, what's Char's theme called? It's I want to keep saying I want to say dashing Char, but it's something like that. Mm -hmm. Subbed over top of it, and it's all the old weebs whenever a new Gundam fighting game comes out. Because it's just like this guy on the ground and all his friends are dancing around him and his body starts moving and he gets up. <laughs> yeah. Is it it's not here comes Char, it's I mean, Here Comes Char is a song. Gallant Char! That was it. Oh. Char, Char, Char. Burp, 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 burp. Sure does. Yes. I think I put too much water. You, uh... Turn your guy around a little bit, Heather. And just... Uh, sure. Raw. Nice. Fell in mud. <laughs> if you have you ever been on um, like the Warhammer tag on Twitch? No. Can't say I have. It's occasionally you will find like old nerds doing painting streams. Mm -hmm. And it's just these like 60 year old dudes in their basement workshops that are basically like strapped into their chairs so that they can't move mm -hmm. anything other than their paintbrush. So mm -hmm. they don't make anything. Mm -hmm. It's it's like you know in Ghost in the Shell when the helicopter deploys all the snipers and they've got like a system that takes over breathing and heartbeats for them so that they don't move. Hmm. It's like that. No. Very good stuff. Very good old nerds on, on Twitch sometimes. I was told about this one guy who was scribing lines into miniatures and he would hold his breath while doing it. Mm. There's, there's an amazing TED talk um, by that's about by this this wonderful soft spoken guy who specializes in painting uh, models that he carves out of toothpicks, like Whoa. the head of a toothpick. Right? Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and uh, or like a matchstick or all sorts of different things. And 
uh, he's he, he just absolutely uh, it, it's a wonderful talk because he, he's you know just talking about the different techniques he, he is saying he was having trouble finding a uh, getting a brush that was fine enough to do some of the details mm -hmm. uh, and so he found a fly and he took a uh, a hair off the off a fly that he had found. <laughs> You just say that like it's a thing you can do, right? <laughs> but I'm imagining him like Mr. Miyagiing it out of the air, like a fly just goes past, and he's like, "Yeah, that'll do," and then releasing it. Oh right, he also yeah, he's done sculpture. He did a bunch of sculptures out of uh, like the lead of a pencil. Huh. That stuff's quite brittle. Graphite's pretty brittle. You would that would be hard to do. Like, you you hear a matchstick or a toothpick, and you, you, you think, that's far beyond my, my skill, but I can see it, mm -hmm. right? Whittling things, like carving things in wood, that's an understood technology. Mm -hmm. Graphite, though, whoa. I've seen um, uh, people who do, uh, curse, like, we're talking Pokemon, this big, uh -huh. crocheted at a thread. Oh, wow. And... I don't have that kind of patience. Wasn't that how they did like all the sweaters in Coraline? <coughs> yes. Was they yeah, were... they, they made their own uh, fabrics and stuff. Right. Yeah. I think they did the same thing for Kubo. Mm. Rather Leica basically just does that now. And then they 3D print all the different faces. Swap them out on their little dolls. Okay, I got mm. the blue Ooh. in there. Very nice. There's your microphone turned off or something? Uh, it was on before, now it's on again. Yes. Huh, oh, hmm. I don't know. Yeah, blame James. Fuck James Turner. Your mic just turned off again. I think your battery might be just or something. Yeah, my batteries are probably just dying then. <clears throat> All right. I All right. I don't know what else to do with them. Yeah, no, that's a good base three colors. Um, do you want to hit the leather with and clothing with a wash to give it some depth? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to borrow this, Corey. Yeah, go for it. Again, just a bit of wash with some water to thin it down. And uh, just, like, lay it on. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm waiting for the base to dry. I don't know if you need anything. Mm -hmm. Wait, they say the F word on Star Trek? Yeah, the card? Yep. Totally swore. Really? Well, it, it is a stream show. I was watching Kids in the Hall yesterday, and they got an F word out. <gasps> yeah? On CBC, they yeah. got one. Yeah. And the audience cheered. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Scott. Really? Yeah. Yeah, man, Kids in the Hall. What a show. Some of it has not aged well, but a lot of it has. Yeah, a lot of it's still funny. Like, I, just, I, I didn't pick up on a lot of, like, the group dynamics as a kid, mm -hmm. but you can really tell uh, that Dave and Kevin mm -hmm. were, like, really good friends and that Bruce and Mark were really good friends. Mm -hmm. So just boop this on all the leather? Yep. Mm 
You see uh, uh, Death Comes to Town? No, I haven't. It's quite good. It's, a, it's sort of a thing they did a couple of years ago um, that's sort of a, not a, it's not Kids in the Hall, but it's all of them making a new series. It's like a oh, okay. f- five or six episode sort of mini series thing. Mm-hmm. It's quite fun. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've watched any kids in the hall. The, uh... I want to watch it. The Jerry and Jerry sketches get me, still. And, uh... I don't even remember those ones. They're... Jerry! Oh, yeah! You know it what gets me is... my part, Jerry! Anything with a Zelda kid. Oh. Hey, mister. Yeah. How much would you give me if my head was made of ham? It's like five dollars. No deal. <laughs> I and also loved, um... Zelda uh, kid, Simon Milligan and Manservant Hecubus. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're great. Uh, and uh, the other one that really got me was what is the fat man doing across the road? Mm. What is the fat man doing across <laughs> oh, yeah. the road? Doing across the road, oh, doing across the road. Oh, tell me, what is the fat man doing across the road? He's it's bizarre, because that would just, like, toes. if Kids in the Hall came out now, yeah. It would just be gangbusters. Yeah. Like, so popular. Right? It'd be mm. everywhere. Yeah. Well, like... But, like, just the fact that it came out in the 90s, and it was like just so early weird. 90s. Yeah. yeah. And, like, weird. Also, a lot of their better sketches are, like, a minute long. Yeah. They they did have a problem ending sketches. Definitely. Mm. Yeah. They, I found that a lot of things... The, the one thing with Kids in the Hall is they either... Uh, don't end the sketch very well, or they actually like self-destruct a sketch too early. That they've done that to where there's like a sketch where I'm like, I'm kind of getting into like I like this character, and yeah. then they like drop it, yeah. <laughs> and then they like you know drop you know break the fourth wall in the sketch or something you know and do something else. It's like oh wait, they're I making like... a new kids song? Yeah, yeah, new episodes. Oh, that's sick. I'll yeah, I'm that. I'm super excited. Yeah, they that's put the great. band back together. So the um, technically the stream is scheduled till three o'clock. Ooh, yeah, so yeah. We're past that now. Um, uh. And we do have uh, Alien Heat Death. Uh, mm-hmm. The um, Dice Friends is yeah. happening at five. With, Episode three. With uh, actually, this all of us. <laughs> yeah, all we're of all gonna be. And here. there's gonna be running tech, and uh, yeah. and we're also have uh, Alex, of course. Mm-hmm. And I Ian. eat, I eat, I eat, I eat, I, I eat. cat, or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just like, I eat, I eat, I mm. eat. So, uh, yeah, so maybe we yeah. should... Uh, wrap it up, thanks, subs, and, up and, and we'll be back in a couple of hours. Yeah. And uh, you will see uh, these models uh, in play on Thursday. Thursday. Mm-hmm. We will be... We've, it's uh, for... A variety of uh, people being away and then also people being sick reasons. We uh, uh, have been away from Gloomhaven for a few weeks now, but uh, we'll be back. And so we'll be doing, uh, continuing on with uh, the third session of Gloomhaven. Yeah. Do we want to get like a finish shot before we thank subs? Sure, yeah. Yeah, that wash really does a lot for the bag. Yeah, the, the, it, the washes do so much heavy lifting. Trial bow goes still in progress. Okay. Do you want to... We'll stop waiting for you to go back and <laughs> switch scenes. <laughs> I guess we should all try to get on the same focal plane. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. I got a cool backpack. I like a little green too. Mm. Yeah. This is this is the kind of stuff I would wear going adventuring and a big backpack. Mm-hmm. Nice tunic. If you can see Jeff's nose. Face planted into mud. <laughs> it's, all, it's all definitely how I... I really like Corey and Heather's. Mm. I like Heather's green tunic. I love Corey's shield and the cape. Yeah. Yeah, I still want to do like a brush on the mm-hmm. cape. But actually, maybe like an ink wash and then a dry brush. Yeah, yeah, totally. Do you, do you think you need more than one polar bear to do a whole cape and pants? Hopefully not. Polar bears are awfully big. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can fit inside a polar bear normally. It's it's right. Gonna depend <laughs> so on aesthetics, but like a lot of the fur should hide most of the seam work. So 
Yeah. Mm. Should be fine to only have the one. Wouldn't it suck to do, you, you like, you you know, you you kill and skin a polar bear and get, like, a cape and then just, like, one leg of your pants and, like, well, now I have to get another polar bear that's the same color <laughs> <laughs> so it'll match. Otherwise, yeah. it'll look dumb. No, I have to get another well, like, in, in the terror, they mentioned that they could get a dozen great coats from the Tunbuck. Mm. I don't know if I'd want to wear the skin of anything with a human face. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let's uh, welcome subscribers uh, because, you know, we we appreciate all your support in all the many Ooh. different ways that you do, both here on Twitch and YouTube uh, through the subscriptions or membership on YouTube and through, of course, the Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash Loading Ready Run. Please note that the YouTube memberships are on the Loading Ready Run YouTube channel. Not, oh, uh, not live. Not, not yeah. live one. Uh, but in particular, we want to thank all the people who subscribed during the stream, starting with this person. Ah, hey, there Jelly Bro, are. 32 months. Thank you. The Hood and Left Handed has come back for the 27th month. Thank you. Jadenum. For 33 months, welcome back. Uh, Bits19, thank you for the 44 month resub. Welcome back. Carissus, 38 months, thank you. Walking Corpse94 has come back for the third month, thank you. Madame Adversary for 10 months. Ooh. Zagrog, thank you for the 59 month resub. The awesome Monev, two. <laughs> 11 months. Almost one year. Morgoth Boglier has come back for the eighth month. Thank you. Having fun in the Nether Realms, That's I hope. It's an excellent fantasy name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sam Skunkworks has been here for 70 months. Wasn't Morgoth the big bad from the Silmarillion? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Talos2912, thank you for the 31 month resub. Keith Skick, 21 months. Howdy Dowdy has come back for the 13th month. Lucky 13. Colonel Craner for 35 months. Hey, welcome back. Daniel Lewis, 84. You've been subscribed for 32 months. Thank you, friend. Meet Puppet 7. Here for five months. What about the others? Emergent OS has come back for the 31st month. Thank you. Bodacious Nia is here for a whole year. Welcome back. Mr. Lefisto, thank you for the 19 month of 19 months of support. Flickerzle, 58 months. Favrim Lefrim. Fav Thav Lefrim has come back for the 42nd month. Hey, happy uh, Adam's anniversary. Yeah, 42. 42. Dan Bajorn for 41 months. Soon. Uh, MFT Manny, thank you for the five month resub. Welcome back. Mighty Mekon, 69 months. Perfect. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Anime Snow Wolf is a brand new sub. Welcome. Thank you for deciding to support us. Wolf's run was okay. Mercurial Vox for 40 months. Hey, welcome back. Hey, Ominously Ominous. Thank you for the 61 month resub. Welcome back. Cryomancer 20x6. Eight months. XRA123 has come back for the 14th month. Thank you. Mantafold for 22 months. Getting in all the folds. Uh, Lord Duran, thank you for the 75 month resub. You, whoa, that's so long. Lady Lay, 33 months. That's a palindrome. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Cyber Egg has come back for the 43rd month. Thank you. It's a pretty steady yeah. palindrome. <laughs> Argent Area for 28 months. That's a square. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Caffeine1138, thank you for the four-month resub, welcome back. 
the bearded padre 19 months that's a prime number <laughs> darth omega has come back for the 32nd month that's also a prime number i'm getting upset <laughs> fortune chaos for 10 months hey welcome back and tally tamale thank you friend for the 30 month resub welcome back thank you for the 200 bits e block the bits the bits the bits the bits uh, all right, so we're going to be back at 5 p.m. Pacific time with a, uh, episode three of Alien Heat Death. And as a quick note, um, remember we are uh, just on daylight savings now. Mm -hmm. We just made the switch. We did the, mm -hmm. the, the jump forward. Our time yep. has changed. Yours might have too. Double check that. Maybe yeah. the next Yours... leap will be the Lily Pole. <laughs> daylight savings time. Your it time sucks is up. sour farts. Your time is up. Our time is now. <laughs> yeah. Some of you may have switched <laughs> and some of you may have not. So just uh, make sure you check that schedule. Close, Cameron. Yeah, you tried. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying. <laughs> He's trying very hard. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, All right. Uh, Talk to you all later. Uh, sorry, there's one more oh. sub. Nick's fire. Thank you oh, for no. the 33 month. 44. 44. 44. It's it says 40. No, no wait, that's storm count. Yeah, okay. yeah 33. S sorry, wrong sub number. 33. 33. Oh, yeah. right, yeah, it's a tiny one. Okay. A palindrome. I sorry, ah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know magic, so I don't understand storm. Ah, okay, mm. yeah, that's fair. All, all right, right. Oh. my.